Hello YouTube friends, how are you doing? Since today is a typically rainy spring day, I decided I am going to share with you some of my spring favorites. So obviously we are just having a very casual chat today, hair on a ponytail, hope it's bright enough for you, I've got the windows open, but uh, yeah, rainy cloudy day, but perfect for spring favorites. So first let's do drinks, I have two of them. The first is Ceremonial Cacao, and uh, this one is from Firefly Chocolate. I will have them linked. They have a bunch of different kinds. The one I have right now is Thriving Tanzania, but I've tried other um, types from this brand and they're, uh, this is the blue one. There are different colors. Um, and each one is specifically for different intentions and what you want to do with that. So I have um, information on cer Ceremonial Cacao. I think it's over on Patreon if you're interested, but I have been loving this and basically, um, there's these little, I'll take them out and show So what they are are these um, chocolate discs and you boil your milk, water, whatever it is that you um, want to use and you add in a few of those little discs and there's a whole ceremonial process to it. Um, so I like to, I don't do that um, every day, but I do love doing that once in a while and it's been great, especially since it's still been cold weather here where I am in Chicago. So a nice warm ceremonial cacao has been perfect. And speaking of warm drinks, I have my favorite tea from Harney and Sons. And that is the blueberry green tea. It's so delicious. I normally do not like green tea. I know it has a lot of health benefits, but it is just not for me. Uh, but this one does not taste like green tea. It tastes like blueberry. It's fantastic. Um, again, I should just stop saying I'll have it linked. If there's anything that I have links for, I will put that in the description so you can check it out. But yes, highly recommend um, the Blueberry Green and Harney and Sons has a lot of great teas that I love. This one has just been the favorite for spring. So next favorite, I'm probably always going to share a favorite witchy book um, because I read constantly. I have ones that I keep and I refer to. I once I just check out of the library. I love learning new topics in witchcraft. But this past few months my favorite has been an old tried and true and that is this book on crystals by Julia Van Doren. So as you can see it's not a huge book. Uh, it's definitely a coffee table book. I'll show you um, a page on the inside. So here is amber and you can see just like how pretty the pictures are but that is how every page is. That um, it has all of the properties here all about the stone and then it has a great photo of it next to it. So uh, I have had this for a while. I really enjoy it. Um, I am constantly referring to it because I have I definitely fallen into the crystal trap and I have so many that I love but I keep collecting new ones and then I check the book and I find more information and I'm like I need that one too so I just keep buying them. But I do use that. I use crystals in my witchcraft a ton so this book has been incredibly useful but highly recommend if you have not to check this out. If you are a fan of crystals, um, again just because of how it's laid out it's definitely a beautiful coffee table book that you can leave out and constantly flip through and get inspired by the beautiful photos. And speaking of crystals, favorite crystal of the moment is Malachite. Isn't it gorgeous? So Malachite is a protective stone, protects from negative energies. It's also one of the Scorpio birthstones, so I think that's why it particularly appeals to me. Um, I find that it amplifies moods. So if you are in a good mood, it amplifies that, but if you are in a negative mood, it's gonna amplify that too. So if um, you are feeling depressed, it might not be the stone for you, but I personally really enjoy it. It goes with the you know, ebbs and flows, but also protects against particularly negative energy that's coming at me from other people. Uh, that has been great for this particular stone. So next up, let's talk favorite herb of the moment, and that is yarrow. And yarrow has antimicrobial properties so it's really good for healing and fighting infections great for the common cold so perfect for uh, this time of year and also reduces depression and anxiety so next favorite uh, is rogan wolf in general it's an online store and this mug in particular which i get questions about all the time because look at the inside i mean that's so fun. They have various versions of mugs like this, and this one in particular is still for sale. I actually do not drink out of this. You can, absolutely. It actually is um, 
dishwasher safe and microwave safe. So you absolutely can drink out of this, but I use it for spell work. So when I am, you know, mixing herbs and things together, um, I love using this as sort of like a cauldron. <laughs> I don't really light it on fire, fire but um, I do mix things in here and I have found it so useful. I love the size of it, just like that large size of it has been perfect. And yeah, the inside is so much fun. So they have various versions and they're giant. I love them. Next up is favorite candles lately. So I will show, show you a close-up of these, but they are my uh, House of Intuition pillar candles that I have there. And um, I have tried numerous types of them because they have different intentions. And I'll show you the ones that I currently have. And I have a few that I have already burned through and they are so effective. They also have a fun crystal at the bottom when you're done burning through it, which of course appeals to me, but they have been so effective for whatever they say that the intention is. So I highly recommend them. I know that they are pricey, but I find that, that they're worth it. So definitely a splurge for me and definitely something that I put on my birthday and Christmas list. And the last favorite that I want to mention is also something that I am going to show you up close. Um, and that is the shop Quirky Cup Collective. And if you are in Australia, then that's perfect for you because that's where they are based. So yes, shipping to the United States is a little aggressive, but I don't order often. I kind of like see the things that I like and based on what she puts new collections out of this artistry that she does, it's great. I'll show you close-ups. Um, I time it to when I'm going to order and try to order everything at once to get down on those things, shipping costs, but I haven't found uh, artistry quite like this in a US-based company yet. But I've found. So um, I have the Live by the Moon Oracle deck that I'll show you up here. And I have a journal back here that I have been loving. They are just so beautiful. I also have a bookmark. Um, there's a ton of fun stuff that I have gotten and I just really love the purple and gold sort of patterns. And I'm already eyeing stuff for next year because she put out a uh, planner. And you know how I feel about planners. So she put out a planner for 2022, but I had already ordered all of my stuff in November or December. Um, so I did not get it because it came out after that, unfortunately. But for next year, I think I am looking at that one because it looks like a lot of fun. Uh, but yeah, just beautiful artwork, imagery, um, beautiful colors, love the gold foiling. All of that appeals to me. My moon sign is a Libra, so all of that aesthetic Libra loving stuff is right up my alley. That is everything for spring favorites. If you have any favorites that you've been loving, absolutely let me know in the comments. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this sort of casual setup video. <laughs> and if you have any questions about anything that I shared, let me know. And otherwise, I will see you in the next one.